Hello everyone we are going to see about histopathological features of periapical cyst. Epithelium at the apex of a non-vital tooth presumably can be stimulated by inflammation to form a true epithelium lined cyst, called as periapical cyst. Periapical cysts represent a fibrous connective tissue wall lined by epithelium with a lumen containing fluid and cellular debris. Periapical cysts are lined by non-keratinizing squamous epithelium that may show elongated rate ridges sometimes forming Roman arches called as arcading patterns of epithelium. Epithelium may also demonstrate exocytosis, spongiosis, or hyperplasia. As seen in dentigerous cysts, scattered mucus cells or areas of ciliated pseudostratified columnar epithelium may be noted in periapical cysts. Although some maxillary periapical cysts lined by pseudostratified columnar epithelium may have originated from the adjacent sinus lining, the presence of mucus cells or respiratory-like epithelium also can be observed in mandibular cysts. The cyst lumen may be filled with fluid and cellular debris. On occasion, the lining epithelium may demonstrate linear or arch-shaped calcifications known as Rushton bodies. Dystrophic calcification, cholesterol clefts with multinucleated giant cells, red blood cells, and areas of hemosiderin pigmentation may be present in the lumen, wall, or both. The wall of the cyst consists of dense fibrous connective tissue, often with an inflammatory infiltrate containing lymphocytes variably intermixed with neutrophils, plasma cells, histiocytes and, rarely, mast cells and eosinophils. Occasionally, the walls of inflammatory cysts will contain scattered hyaline bodies.